It's that time again, and it's time to get a new Jurassic World movie. Just like the first Jurassic World movie, we're going to be getting some toys. This time, instead of Hasbro, Mattel's going to be making the toys. But how good are they? Today, we're going to be looking at the RC Gyrosphere. In 2015, Hasbro gave us the Jurassic World toy line. This particular set came with the pale Tyrannosaurus type thing and then that spiky back dinosaur. Actually, it's pronounced Indominus Rex and Ankylosaurus. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm not a paleontologist and you know, I don't study animals or that kind of thing. So I tend to get some of these animals wrong, so please, just don't crucify me on this. True, we can't all have that kind of career. But next time, just read the front of the package and just go with that. Very true. I'll be more mindful next time. But if there's no name, I'm just going to have to call it what I think it is. Well, that's okay. So this Hasbro set came with a figure, but it wasn't anyone from the movie, it was just a random soldier. Not only that, but both of his arms moved together, and so did his legs. This is really weird, because this kind of articulation is very, very outdated. I mean, what can you do with this guy? Not to mention that the vehicle doesn't even look like a spear, and they added this launcher on top of it, this disc launcher. And that's a really weird decision, but then again, they're just trying to make toys for kids. And the more features it has, the better, right? So the gyrosphere can also come apart. It has the broken glass in the front, and then the side pops out, as well as the seats. Now from what I've seen, because I don't own this, a lot of people have been having a lot of problems trying to keep the figure in. And that's a really poor design decision. This is a vehicle. It's supposed to hold the figure in. Another thing is, this thing rolls on two wheels. The actual ball itself doesn't roll. Not that it's an actual ball anyway, but it has two wheels underneath and that's what it uses to move. Now I get it, there's cost measures and all this and that, but this is just a rolling ball and I'm sure that they could have done something else to make it work. Hasbro couldn't figure it out, but Mattel did with the RC Gyrosphere. Now that's just for the RC version. I'm not sure how the other one will do until I get my hands on it. Now the RC Gyrosphere comes in three parts. The two halves of the ball, and then you have the inside. The inside is where the motor is. It also comes with a remote with two buttons, forward and reverse. Reverse is for turning. Inside uses four AA batteries and two AAAs for the remote. Okay, now we just put Chris Pratt into the seat and we're ready to go. The gyrosphere doesn't work that great on tall grass, but it works awesome on dirt and on short grass too. Although, even on short grass, it can still get stuck. Gyrosphere came with a quote-unquote Owen figure, who is static, very rubbery, and has a hollow back. He's just there for looks. The Mattel RC Gyrosphere has two foot pegs. This is a great improvement over the Hasbro version, since it holds the figure in. He can also have a riding buddy with him. Just make sure he's the right size. Let's try Star-Lord's Marvel friend. 
The core figures can fit in there. Crash can fit in there. Not 100%, but he fits. Definitely not Dozer though. Ugh. Probably the most perfect figures for these would be the 3 and 3 quarter G.I. Joes. Or any 3 and 3 quarter that can bend its knees. Bazooka obsessed. Bazooka. Ugh. Okay, and there it is. The gyrosphere with two figures. Now I gotta say that even though Dusty does fit in there, the foot pigs don't fit snugly in his feet. So he was still just moving around in there. It's actually really funny. It's kind of like watching him be in a washing machine, especially when it gets stuck in one spot. <laughs> The gyrosphere works really well on tile. The only thing is, it's kind of slippery, so you don't really have a lot of control. And just make sure that the ball is on there tight, because you will start hitting stuff like walls and closet doors and that sort of thing, and the ball will break open. Now, if you have grooves in your tile like this, and you hit it just right, the ball will ride it like a rail, and it's pretty cool. Obviously the best option for the gyrosphere would be carpet because it has great traction and you're not going to scuff up your ball. Mine has already been in dirt and it's pretty scuffed up, but I gotta say this toy is a lot of fun and it's totally worth every penny. Oh and if you were wondering, yes the old Kenner figures will fit in this. Again, it, you can't peg their feet in, but they will fit in there, and yeah, it'll still work. Just for fun, let's watch Ian Malcolm go through the wash cycle. Originally, there was a couple things that turned me off to this. The fact that Owen was a static figure, that really turned me off to it. Also, that to turn, you had to press reverse. That's like an old RC thing from like the 70s and 80s, so that turned me off but I was pleasantly surprised. Man, I love this toy. Oh man, it wasn't recording. <laughs> <laughs>